Nerd Soul. Woo! Ha ha! it down. Bring it a street geek and nerd soul. Yeah. What is up, my That's right, little Mike. Today, yeah. all yeah. year, come with another yeah. wonderful episode of Beast Vibes Life. <laughs> we are having fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! So, uh, before we get started, uh, I did want to say that you know we we send our you know peace, power, love out to those that are on the front lines doing their thing. Um, peace, power, and love to the families of those that have fallen recently, those that we know, and those that we don't know. Um, we you know what I'm saying we we here to have fun, but we understand what's going on. Now, to get the show going, to my right or left, I have Architron. Say what's up. Hey, people, it's me, Architron, A-R-C-K-T-R-O-N.com. You can find all my music there. And we're here to have a great show today, guys. Back to you, Mike. <laughs> and then the, 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 the bottom diagonal square, we have the conspiracy, the conspiracy theorist du jour, beat maker extraordinaire, uh, rap scallion, if you will, <laughs> conspiracy P, P. L. Parker Lewis. What's up? What if the hit has nothing to do with the song? Sometimes it gets to the hotel. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hold up. You? You? He muted? Oh, no, he doing that on purpose. Hold up. You? He, nah, gave you the special, he gave you the special effects and you didn't. Gave me the, <laughs> you got to throw the, the audio at. You got to throw the audio. We're the audio. audio. We, <laughs> hold up. We can't. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. We're going to be back with Conspiracy P in a second. But it's like the worst time to do until, that. Really. Until then, <laughs> or have, he was have, right about those conspiracies. Ah, ah. he's about to say, "Yo, really?" I'm. And they got that's, him. That's what he was trying to they do. They got him. They got him. Conspiracy um, be wrong. <laughs> he did. We, they we need him. the S one Ws, fam, right now. He did. All right, but we do have. All right, conspiracy P, you back? See if he back. See, see. If he, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, uh, what is that? What, you, what am I hearing though? Yeah, who is that? I don't know. They am I playing TV or something? Who's TV is that? I don't know. It ain't us. Man. Yo, we. Yo, that's so <laughs> weird. Yo, that's crazy weird. Here, the TV. You got Bluetooth or something? No, no. What's going on? I hear the TV, but then when he's talking. Does Bluetooth <laughs> work TV like talking? Does I don't know. So we got we also have Architron, I mean not Architron, and Wild High Sign in the spot. Fleece out in stores. Say what's up. Fleece is out in stores working on the next one. I'm here. I got the the rose because ah. I love that Maybach music. May uh. Maybach music. Ma -ma 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 Maybach music. Maybach. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll oh, see, let's see. Pia trying to get back in. Let's try again. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Where you back? You, oh, you back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no. you got no sound again. Oh, right. you got the sound. Oh, you got, got the sound. sound. Okay. Yeah, we did it. I'm here. Oh, okay. Right, Thank, cool, welcome cool. back, sir. Back, welcome to the show. Back. Thanks for having me. I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> family show, guys. I, I, I don't know, but hi. Uh, I'm Parker P. L. Lewis. Lewis with a Z. Hi. Lewis. So, Lewis. Um, before we get to the show, I did want to remark upon the battle that I'm we Parker had. Parker Lewis. <laughs> um, last weekend, or weekend before last, sorry, uh, we, we conducted a battle, myself and Conspiracy P versus Architron and Anwar Highside. They represented the Kanye West. Easy. And we represented the Pharrell Williams. For real. Uh, in, by extension. You know you for real, but you the truth. <laughs> I'm going to call um, you for real. I believe. Don't, don't, don't call me that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, would say, I would say that it was a very uh, well done battle, if I would. Uh, I would say, of course, that my team won. But. For you sure. Know, Kanye tried. Kanye, Kanye tried. He had a couple of songs. He made a valiant effort. Yes. 
But you, unfortunately, you notice we just letting y'all <laughs> tell them lies to y'all. So you know, <laughs> tell them lies. You ain't hear me throw no facts on facts on facts yet. So <laughs> no facts on record yet. I, I, the I mean, Arbitron company does not condone whatever's going on in their soul and, and PL. The high Parker science Lewis society is, also. We don't condone any of this. We don't condone this, it. This speech, this hate speech I'm a, against Kanye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, the link below to the uh, to the battle. You can watch it on Facebook because uh, YouTube be tripping, but you can you can watch in all the glory. And y'all be as, the judge as the Pharrell team <clears throat> excels in dropping hit after hit after hit. On a on a Kanye that just struggled to keep like it. like that Doing song that that, that y'all dropped that wasn't even a Pharrell joint at all <laughs> yeah like that song I'm like mean, that one I mean, <laughs> he's hey, got the hey, non Pharrell hey, joint hey, he doesn't hey, that he hey, doesn't hey. even have credit y'all played I like, smell disqualification no 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 hear me out hear me out I'm waiting y'all played a joint that he did a not produce b did not write <laughs> the only thing on there is the vocal that's it he's on the song right the song you he's not even on the crowd nowhere even near that song you, you said he did <laughs> he is a credited he, how do we know he the whole thing i looked up the credits he wasn't on it he was on it bro <laughs> he wasn't on there i looked it up too as we were doing the battle I I don't, I, not in the universe the song, the song we, I, in question you, for anyone sir, wondering. You looked it up during the battle. You would have said something. I did. You didn't see it. The song in question it. is "Ninjas in Paris," which, when you look that song up, Kanye West is in the production credits. But I understand where you're coming from as well. But he is in the production credits. He is listed as a producer on the song. He should be just the saying. Producer. He has it's to a hit for the final it's, final it's a out. We know it's a hit boy joint, but he is listed on there. And so uh, he was listed as composer and writer on that song. You want me to send you the uh, screenshot? Uh, uh, how about this? this? I got a question. Would you me. like for me to I, send you the screenshot from title? Yeah, yeah. I got a question. Yeah. Is it uh -huh. possible that somebody in the song rapped something that had to do that something that Pharrell sampled? Or that they sampled Pharrell in some way. Ooh. Possible. Possible. That could be that could be possible. possible. That could be possible. Possible. <laughs> could be possible. So that's what he I'm still, thinking. Okay. He but still that, he had nothing to do with the rhyme. He's still listed twice. Or the production. No, oh, fam. He's don't listed, do that. He's twice. Don't do that, fam. <laughs> if they, if Those someone if someone used a line that was used in a Pharrell song in some way, that's not him composing on the song. That's, That's not him producing. being oh, credited. He's not rapping. Why you don't want to get a man his credit, man? Get a man his credit. Get him his credit. Get him his right. credit. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That man worked hard for them credits. He worked hard. He worked hard, right. hard for he had credit. to stay right. after school and listen you're to right, all them bro. teachers. There was already credit. a sub super producer you're in right, the room. Bro. Didn't need Pharrell. Sorry. You're right, bro. Mm. This, and it the was super a, it producer was a Oh, okay. But the super producer named Ye needed Hit Boy to make the beat that y'all played, right? Is that what you're saying? Maybach music. Kanye <laughs> is, is a Kanye song. Kanye and Jay Z song. You're talking about a song that has nothing to do with anything. But I'm just saying, you are 1,000. What are you saying? Dead. I'm just saying that the man is credited Maybach twice. Music. He's credited. He's credited twice. Okay. The man is credited, he's credited two times. Yo. Hit him with hit him with the hit him with the screenshot. Just text him the screenshot later. We, I will. You know, no, you know, we, we don't need to see the screenshot. We need to know the nature of the credit. It says composer. The credit is, is what credit is. Wait, 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 listen, wait. Listen, listen, Nerd, so where did you see it at? Well, first huh? thing I, I saw it on title. Oh, say it out loud. Say, say. Hold on. Title. I did not see it. All right, it. but I will say you got to trust. In defense of my team, who has been above reproach. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> during the wait, whole wait, entire hold on. Battle. Let me let me put this. Let me slide this on your on your on your on your dinner table. <laughs> Let's say we four did a song together. Okay. Who? Okay. Let's say in this song, we sample Kanye West or Pharrell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say we clear this sample of Kanye West okay. or Pharrell. All right, okay. In titles credits, guess who will be listed? Kanye or Pharrell? 
You're, you're Maybach music. You, we've not, we've not <laughs> disputing this. <laughs> We're not disputing this. That's all I'm saying. And so, with that being the case, it's a possibility it that then, that may be the case. That's all I'm saying, man. That would change the nature of the writing credit. There's also a possibility that Kanye didn't touch, lay a finger to that beat that Hit Boy flew to Paris to go make. Wow, you mm. feel real strong about that, bro. What's your beef mm. with Ye? Why, why, why do you What's just your like beef with Ye, yo? Why you got personal feelings toward Ye like this, yo? We're recording. The wow, strength, recording. Man, the strength. Oh, you need to call, you need to call, call that. You need to call that man, yo, and square and hash out whatever y'all got going on, bro. I'm banned. He won't even let me come up to yeah, Calabasas yeah, to go holler at him, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm banned tripping, from the band. Uh, I know what it is. He's he listening to Drizzy like that. He he see he know your intentions, man. He's like, yo, I don't. Nah, uh, <laughs> nah. I, I, are you I, are you I'm, checks I, over I, are you checks over stripes? I have. Uh, let's just say that I have a love hate relationship with the aforementioned person. <laughs> aforementioned. We're gonna, this guy. We're gonna work it out, man. We gonna be all right. But um, I, straight up, guys, y'all should check it out in the link. The battle was fun. Uh, you know, we threw out a whole bunch of joints. People in chat had a good time. So that's what's up. I I, uh, I thank our uh, valiant uh, opposition for putting forth the effort that they did. It Likewise, awesome. it, it was it was awesome, and it was it was a great competition. Likewise, <laughs> y'all threw y'all came out throwing the kitchen sink. Who me? Y'all, both of y'all. Yeah. Got to do, man. We got to. We got to do it. We, so, because we had a yeah, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I just basically the way I went five on five. Whoever got ball first, you 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 set the tone. Whoever got ball second, you counter. That's the game. That's the game. <laughs> it was a great game. Yeah, that it was, felt it was like fun. one. That felt like one of them New York Knicks games from the early nineties. Oh, speaking of <laughs> which, one of them uh, yeah, was, uh, oh, this is kind of like inside baseball, but I've been watching Last Dance. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. I, I'll try. You to know what to do. I try to. You get know it. what to do. I ain't got to say it. You know what to do. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so with that said, uh, this that the movie with Julia Stiles. Yeah, Man, that movie. Right, look, right. it's an amazing <laughs> film. That said, the, cinema it the cinematography yeah. is amazing. With that said, <laughs> I ain't even going there. Uh, this episode, we're gonna keep it laid back. Uh, I wanted to go around the <laughs> around the horn, around the table, all that good stuff, and for us to bring up either the first hip hop album that we owned. Or that we remember buying with our own hard-earned cold cash. My own money. I I put it in my own money. My you own see these money. cookies. He put the boy's got money. his own money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got cookies. Um, <laughs> for, I'll start. I'll start first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Shout out to Dave Dash because he watches the show. <laughs> Your cookies. You know Dame Dash watches this show, man. It's like, oh, come on, man. It's like, yeah, man. I actually have cookies to do that, but I have to go down the room. That but cookies, yeah, what, what, who we going with first? <laughs> uh, I'll go first, unless you unless you already have. Nah, something you can mind. do it. Take take it on the one. The first one that I remember having uh, the cassette tape um, was they exist. Cassettes existed. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it, was, it was this nifty little device. It was plastic, sometimes metal. It had this little, this little actual like little film tapey kind of thing, in it, and it would go around in circles. Arthur Khan is about to give his figure one A. Bloop! <laughs> Exhibit this A is a tape. coming up on Arcatron's Ooh. screen. Ooh. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He has He's, not only did he pull one out, he stunned. Get your stun on something. I'm about to actually show you my first tape, actually. I'll do that. Okay. I'll, I'll keep, keep going, going Mike. Keep going. First one I remember is um, Midnight Marauders, I think. I think that's the first one I remember owning. Um, I don't know if I bought that or not. Um, but it's the one where they one... cut it. They cut it. Oh, cut where it, are the tape. Uh, Old school jam. Uh, but uh, yeah. 
uh, Midnight Marauders, uh, it was classic then. Even though I didn't know what classic was, I just knew I liked basically every song. Um, still do. Uh, I man, I played that tape out, and I had my little my little cassette Walkman. Little, it was like a little. It's like a little. For those that were born in like the year like ninety nine or something, it's like this little plastic. It's like a rectangle. Boom! This is a Walkman. There it goes. There's a Walkman. You put your tape in there. With like, the auto reverse. Walk man. man. <laughs> it's got buttons on the top with the echo stickers. This was my own making. Ooh. And it, it actually has got a Wu-Tang logo at the back. At some oh. thing I traced. It was, it was a Wu-Tang and Echo co brand. This was my <laughs> tape. This is my tape player from back in the day. Oh, man. Yeah, with the load, the batteries <laughs> in the back. That old co-branded. So. Oh, oh I, we got, we got visual aids. your batteries up, son. Yeah, Walk we got Walkmans would tear your batteries up. I got like shout out, shout out to double A batteries. Yeah, hey, I would uh, I would double A just blue on the school bus, uh, in those little puffy headphones. I remember those. And I just remember like listening to like you know Steve Biko, you know War Tour, all that. I just remember like loving that album, and you know them little, them little puffy headphones, boy. They weren't worth nothing, but. They were they was good at that time. <laughs> yeah, puffy headphones is a memory right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Air, with air, air foam <laughs> with, the, the, with the little quality. teeny, the metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little metal, metal wire. rod. With the little. Do y'all puffy. remember the headphones they used to, they used to give y'all in school? The like the stuff. Stuff. Them big clunky old things, but they oh, sounded yeah, amazing. Yeah, but right they were old, big and clunky. Yeah, oh. it was like the <laughs> air traffic with controller wire. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I do the tests. I do a little hearing tests. You know what I mean, yeah, because it'd be like, you'd like, be like, what? <laughs> I'll call all of it. All the ones way in the back. I heard that too. You like. I hear a pin drop next room with the head headphones on. I think I'm playing. <laughs> All right, oh, ready man. to conduct the test. So, uh, uh, P. L. Parker Lewis, how uh, how do you remember your first either own or purchase of a of the a hip-hop first hip hop? The album? first um, album that I ever owned was uh, the Lords of the Underground album. Ooh. Uh, no my uncle got me. Well, my uncle bought it, and I kind of took it from him. <laughs> that was when it was on CD. Remember? Uh, can we? It was uh, real. Exhibit, uh, a compact disc. If you know. Got that disc. Um, Remember what so, the shock, the shock absorbing joint? Boom. Compact disc. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, that was the first the CD that I actually had. But once my mom saw that I had it, she took it and gave me a butt whooping because it had cursing on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the first album that I actually bought with my own money was the same thing Mike said, uh, Midnight Marauders. That was the first album I actually bought with my own money. I banged that album till this day. It's yeah. top five. One of the greatest albums of all time, and I'll fight anybody to say this. <laughs> yeah, it's yo. So that, was, that was Lords of Underground. That was was that the joint with Chief Rocker and yeah, um, that was, ah, yeah. You know, yo, I, I they, love they had, that uh, album, man. Chief Here Rocker, come the Lords. Here come the Lords. I love that album, B. And what was the name of that song? It did not age well, fam. Keep it above. Oh, keep it two Virgils. Oh. Keep it two Virgils. That album did not age well. Fam. Wait, what year was that? It was 93. Well, the thing about it is like, no, or whatever. Like if you're if you're grading it without nostalgia, no, it's it is very much of its time, but it's hard for me to not it enjoy. It had some beats on it, at least that I remember. Yeah. That I remember. It has some, it it has some, some great beats. stuff on it, but it's like you kind of had to be there. If you uh, if I were to give a person who never heard it. And maybe didn't even necessarily have a particular affinity for that time frame in hip hop. True, they probably mm-hmm. wouldn't enjoy it very much, or you know, like have have limited enjoyment of it. But if you were kind of there, it probably would take you back to certain memories and times and experiences you had. And you know, like when I, I hear it, it, I wouldn't call it a classic. It's close, but I wouldn't call it a classic. I would, I would call it a classic, but that's just you know. 
It, I, it's close. I really love that album. I, 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 Man, that I just remember that joint having some beats on it. But I might have to go back to it and that's Molly Mar, right? Thing. Yeah, but it was really uh it was K Def. I think K Def yeah. yeah, pretty much. He was, um no wasn't dude from Naughty, did Naughty do a um KG? Um KG? Yeah, yeah. no. Nah. Okay. I don't remember. It was a house it was wait, a house wait, head wait, wait, so didn't we review this oh, okay. album? I don't think so. I thought we did Lords of the Underground. Maybe we did, but I, I or maybe we thought we talked about it. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, I think we just talked about we it. Go back to the old format. <laughs> uh, so, Last episode. Mr. High <laughs> Damn, they trying to they trying to cancel us, PL. They trying to damn fast, like <laughs> like that. They like yeah, this, <laughs> they this the later season they, they, when the extra yeah, characters they, come in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the no, later season. When the extra characters. Well, now nah, because I figure once we get all our albums out, then we can have more stories, and you know what I'm saying. And because yeah, yeah, like, PL brought up you, something that I want to say about about another album that I remember early on, but I want to let everybody get they get they first out. Um, mine probably dates back. I don't remember the first album I bought with my own money, mm-hmm. but uh, the first album that I was given, I was given a cassette. Mine predates all of y'all's by a lot. Uh, I was Ooh. given Well Cool J radio cassette. Oh, uh, I was you know obviously I'm, I was obviously cut my teeth in the hip hop game very young. <laughs> I was I was you know what I mean. I had my gang initiation very young, early. So I you know I'm OG in this hip hop in this hip hop thing. But yeah, um. Radio was cool, man, but uh, I mean, if I'm being completely honest, that whole like early to mid 80s chamber was a little bit before two before my time, all right. You know, but I did get some enjoyment out of it, but I'm more of a like 88 and up guy, so like my second tape is where I like really went crazy. My second tape was I got on Christmas was EPMD Strictly Business. Ooh. That was the one that like was out of here. I was gone. That bass yeah. explains everything why you like EPMD so much. I I don't that, you never told do, I never knew this before. Strictly business, yeah, that, 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 man. Just do, man. That Christmas, I got that strictly my business first, is on point though. It is. I just listened to that not too long ago, but I I got yeah. my first Go that Christmas. I got my first radio, a Ooh. double cassette deck. Radio like olive green, like a military. Oh, was fire, color. boy. The double though. Was fire. Yeah, my, double, brother, my brother had a double, double. He had a double, and it was Got ill because, like, you know, the, the radio is the long way like this, and the handle was on the side, so it, like yeah, yeah. carried it. It was vertical like this. It was ill radio, and I got two <laughs> cassettes. I got EPMD Strictly Business, and I got MC Hammer uh, Turn This Mother Out album, the oh. first album. Huh. Which was it's which contrary to what you know a lot of people ding, 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 ding. contrary to what a lot of people you know like maybe would say now like you know you see Eminem and <laughs> people like that the hood was rocking with that first MC Hammer joint like it was yo, rocking <laughs> all laughing aside Not major yo major. your boy love Hammer like straight up all laughing who aside, didn't yeah, Hammer didn't get even two Hammer didn't get who didn't until, that second, you know, when it was like, oh, uh, can't touch this and all that. And it started to be all of this super costume and stuff. But that first album, yeah. that hit in the midst of, you know, like all the hip hop videos and hip hop in general. It was like in a real jovial pa- community oriented place. You had a lot of parties and a lot of dancing in the videos. And so Hammer was going crazy in the videos with the dancing and all of that. And you know, yeah, like the beat was cool. Like, it was a cool album. It was a fun album. So a lot of people, you know, nowadays be like, I've never used to listen to him yesterday. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all I, did. I, I be riding hard. Like even to this day, like yo, kid and play. Yo, I roll with kid and play. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That was yo, crazy. The go go phase of hip hop was kind of crazy. Yeah, because that go go plus me being in DMV, you know, that go go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just crazy. like, yo, they, they have I, I wish the other, the other guy, the other rapper from DMV would like do better with his music choices. <laughs> we, we ain't going but, there. But yeah, so, you know, so like radio was technically my first 
cassette uh, that I haven't gotten it, and it has some crazy stuff on it. I still be saying certain things from it to to this day, you know, like that El Shabazz skit was kind of crazy and all that, and yeah. Dear Yvette and all of them songs like that were crazy. So yeah, good times, man. I Architron. Bam! <laughs> this is my first tape. Ooh. And I Ooh. Was own money, or at least somebody's money. But it was somebody's money. But it's the Jizz of Liquid Swords tape. Ooh. With the insert with the chessboard. <laughs> it's down on the chessboard. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was my first one I bought. Um around the time, I think my mom was like accompanying me to, you know, to get it because I was a minor. So we, we, I think we got it at Camelot. Like back in the day. And um, wow. I just, because I was a Wu head. So I was a Wu head before this. My brother, because my brother, and uh, I had, my brother had to, this is his tape, the Protect the Neck. And from that moment, I was like Wu, a Wu head. So when Jizza came out, I remember seeing one of the videos. I think it was the Shadow Boxing video. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got to get this tape. So I mean, I got my mom and got the tape bro. yo i miss that feeling man of like yeah. seeing a video and being like yo yeah i, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this yeah you got i, I want this product in my life i need to get that like like that album kids these like days will me. never know that feeling fam no that yeah. album that liquid swords album was like that for me it was like yo illmatic was like that for me that's one of the earliest albums i do remember buying with my own money was illmatic yeah by the time that I want to say it was the third video when the world is yours video came out and I saw that on rap city or, or whatever on MTV. I was like, yo, I got Shouts to rap city when it was good, man. I, 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 rap city, I, man. I have something to say. No. Yes, Joe Claire. Like, the first man. CD I ever bought. <laughs> Shout to them. High sign knows my first CD I ever bought. Cause it's actually very surprising. <laughs> But how is it, um, but is, is it what I think it is? P.L. Lewis, what do you think my first CD I ever bought? I'll say this right now. It wasn't a 95. It was four years later, 99. Y'all do the math on that one. 99. And it was the first CD you bought. And it, and it wasn't like that. And it wasn't like that. Puff Daddy, all, uh, No Way Out? No, nah, <laughs> I wasn't a Puff fan. Like cold, that. cold. I mean, cold. not that cold. Still flashy, but not Dynasty? that flashy. Huh? Oh, I was Dynasty? thinking of something else. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. What do you think about Pierre? What do you say? Dynasty? Oh, no, the W. I'm no, sorry. No. The no. W. No, no. Too early. A couple years too early. I don't know. Well, I'm, 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 I just do this right you now. You cannot say no Marshall. Oh, double. Oh, um, uh, X. And then there no, was. The actual Rough Riders Ride or Die. Album. Oh, Why, that wow. wasn't that's not a, mm, I actually revisited that two weeks ago. That's not a bad album, man. For me, it's a bad album right now. <laughs> I revisited we I think we revisited it last year, didn't we? I saw it? Maybe one day. Yeah, one it, days. I know we did it might drag, not even it might not even been last year. It might have been well, we, it might have been a couple years ago, yeah. Wow. It might have been this year. Wait, this year we, we revisited it right now? It we just like revisited the opposite of H two O. Like, yeah, we did that. Uh, I don't know why we did that. <laughs> we go down, rabbit, we go down rabbit holes on this side. Yeah, yeah we Yo, do. All right, to to piggyback off of uh, PL State and talk about your mom wanting to beat you or whatever. I right, check it. <laughs> the first time I heard Doggy Style, I Ooh. knew I was like, I ain't supposed to be listening to this. That's a that's <laughs> a whooping right there. <laughs> first time I, the, I put it because a friend of mine gave me the tape he was like it, he gave it to me that like a first deal, shit, like, there it like, is like, like, he gave it to you like a Richard Bryan his, record here's his the tape <laughs> dub it tonight but the, shh and I was just like so what's the big deal man Snoop Dogg because I knew the radio edit I put yeah. that joint in I was immediately like bathtub <laughs> skit I was like I turned that value way down I was like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was, like, I was like, I know I ain't supposed to be listening to this. Uh, for me, for me, I remember my brother getting and I'm a, caught, and I'm a PK the, too, uh, so I knew the Biggie, uh, uh, right, um, I'm ready to die, ready to die, uh, and y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the skit, yeah, the skits I'm ready to die, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yes, that yes. got confiscated a couple times. Oh, it did. 
My dad, my brother had to buy that a couple of times. Mm. Yo, one of the funniest times. I, one of the funniest times. Uh, DMX. I can't remember the song, but DMX has this song that at the end of the song he just keeps saying "eff it" like mad times. <laughs> like, he's like "eff it, eff it." Like DMX is doing it right. So I wasn't a super DMX fan. I thought he was cool, but my little brother loved DMX. Right. So <laughs> me and my mom come home from something. <laughs> and my brother is singing along mad hard. I mean, he's like at the top of his lungs. F it, like, yo. <laughs> oh, he was going <laughs> hand in the whip. You got you to you have, have, you you have a lookout <laughs> if you want to do that. You can't be, yo, my mom busted like, up yo, in the room. She, she, she was like, turn it off. <laughs> she busted up in that room. She was like, turn it off. Give me that now. I was like, <laughs> yo, she took <laughs> that CD. And she was like, smack. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I said, uh, mom, that costs money. <laughs> I was I like, care. that's property. <laughs> oh, mom wasn't trying to hear that. Wasn't she wasn't trying to hear that, that message. Oh, she didn't respect that property. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but it was hilarious. Like, I mean, years later, I can laugh about it. But at the time, like, because, you know, I opened the door and I was like, who up in here cursing like that? And my mom was like a couple steps behind me. I tried to get to it, be like, yo, see, nah. And but by then she already heard he was like at the top of his lungs. F it. F it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, DMX, man. Yo, almost got my brother beat up. Shout uh, out to the bootleggers, man. man. Y'all came in handy. Yo, yeah, they did. shout out to the shout out to the bootleg man that would slide to the barbershop. You could get three CDs for ten dollars. Um, and you could get a fish dinner if you wanted as well. Like, <laughs> yo, I bought so many CDs from the barbershop, and I know good and well, Sony and Universal wasn't making that money. Neither was the artist. I apologize. They made enough but, money. I mean, they they made listen, listen, they got listen fam. Listen, fam. Even if you bought that CD legit from Sony and them, them artists they wasn't still won't make that money. <laughs> it all good. <laughs> Uh, man, because homie would come in, he had like the book, he had a book with the CDs, and he he didn't yeah. have like printed, he didn't have like printed little cases. Yeah, he had like the oh, covers like, and stuff. Yeah, yeah little printed yeah, covers. Yeah, he yeah. was official. One yeah, side was official. One side, white on the back. One side. Yeah, it'd be white. It'd be white on the back. You ain't gonna get. You ain't getting no. Liner. <laughs> you ain't getting no. Liner. You ain't getting, you ain't getting no liner notes. No, nope. there's no liner notes. You have no way to get liner notes. You getting that front picture, and that's it. And it might not be the same picture as the actual album. Right. <laughs> yeah, it might be like, be like a, like a, uh, a different version. be a picture version. of Nah, Nas. that's when you got to hit him with it like, nah, yo, play that first. Let me hear that and make sure that's the right one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got to do that. You <laughs> the you won't go home and put it in like. Yo, my man, run that real quick. Let me see it. <laughs> Why this only got 10 tracks and the album got 12? Like, yo, what's up? Fam. You got to do research was it, yo, before you go Sean, in there. Was it? Was it true that time that somebody told me that they got somebody sold them a blank CD? It was a bootleg, <laughs> but it was a blank <laughs> CD. I was like, oh, I wasn't me. Was. I got it. But shout I out to it. all of y'all watching me. that. Shout out to all y'all watching that bought the bootleg and it was a blank CD. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. That's why you got to look at the back of the CD first. You can see if it's you got to make sure you, you, know you got the ring around. Cool. So you got uh, to check for the ring. You know what I mean? <laughs> check yeah, for the ring. A second ring, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. You ever buy, you ever buy, nah, I have bought a CD and whatever, it didn't burn all the way correctly. So it's only like, let's say the song had like maybe 15, 16 songs. You only got like six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it cut short. You got like a five, that five, five times time. the next song and it's over. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Don't do me like that, Mr. Cor- Black, them man. Cor- that's what, that's what he said. Yeah, the CD got yeah, he sell you the blank CD, yeah. and then as soon as you skate off, yo, shout, he ain't checking. Shout you think he, he checking all the CDs? Got him. He's not checking all the CDs. <laughs> got him. Oh, oh, He's gone. Oh, oh, shouts out to uh, shouts out to Columbia House when you used to get like the CDs. Used Ooh, to bro. Yeah, I, got I got Columbia House. I remember House getting Mary so J. Blige's times, joint, bro. and I got Mama Said Knock You Out. I remember those two albums. Cause what's the four one one? I played that joint on my mama CD player like forever. Yeah. <laughs> I wore that CD oh. out, man. Yo, Bro, you know how many? That's my life. 
Yes, man. I both of those. The boys to men, boys to men two. We we gonna keep yo, it. We gonna keep it two yo. verses. Dude, y'all were some R&B dudes. I wasn't an R&B dude until later. Oh, uh, Bang. Like, I'm, still, I'm still a R&B, pretty R&B, limited R&B, R&B dude, though. Yo, we yo, Timberland yeah. out, man. I you wear Timberlands, out, man. I wear yeah, Timberlands yeah. all seasons for ass-kicking reasons. I don't know what y'all talking about, bro. Bro, that's... Mary J. Blige, and you that, listen to the 40 the Men, bro. I don't think there's a bad have... song on it, man. I don't think there's one bad song. <laughs> 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 Every song is a bad song, man. That R and R and B rapping rap bull. bull. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's when I got. Uh, right, Mama said, "Knock you out," and like Dr. that album Suits was like by the goose. Yo, I got Columbia House simple so minded cassettes, bro. I might single handedly be. I'm. You know how that that Rick Ross clip was like. I was definitely one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Like I was ordering them joints, seven <laughs> joints, seven plus one, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah I got you. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah they got to like homie. three, four different addresses. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They, got you, homie. they stopped doing that. Like, no, damn, 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 damn. Y'all got to like, pay they first. They no stopped more. doing that. They didn't see how the hackers were going to hack it. They didn't they, see the they, hackers. They used to let you have them. They used to let you have them and then invoice you. Yeah, and then man. you just ignore it. And Miss eventually it. they would stop coming. <laughs> and they would come back. <laughs> New address time. I didn't even use a different address. They just would eventually oh, stop. Eventually see, they I would, would love, stop. I, was, I had family. I had family everywhere. So I had yeah, family just... in Jersey, family in PA, family in Virginia. He had the scam. He had the scam. Hey, Stem, man. Scammy P. <laughs> Sam. Scammer I think P. Had, if, Scammer if the P. Was black, <laughs> I think me and my fam had every city, every CD by every artist black that Columbia House ever made. <laughs> yeah, they used to have a weird selection. <laughs> the weirdest selection. Yo, but I, you know, like I got, they were sending I them like CDs. No problem. Album. Yo, they were sending them joints out hard. I think, I, got, I think out, that's uh, how I got my old dirty cassette. I never Ooh. I never got to. I, I always used to see it, but I never like had the courage to order it and, and get on board with it. That was a beautiful. I didn't have my own. It was. I was like a beautiful. My, my mom was my boss. You know what I mean, like oh, I didn't have my own money. You get home, you, <laughs> man, you boy. You, get home nah, bro, school, like, you see that little brown box waiting for you? Nah, bro. And like you, know we, you gotta understand, well, we didn't have any money. We had no money. So see, back bro. in the early days of, of of Columbia House, you would get to just get the catalog. Yeah, I remember you choose your joints, and they would send them to you before you paid a dot a dime. That was I'm stupid. Paid. No money, nothing. <laughs> well, see, that's because they back send, that time, you people would choose, do that. And There's twelve send CDs you. off the top. Blah. The they top, they trusted you. They, you know what? They trusted you to send the money. You guys they never trusted did. me. I'm telling them. That's, that's real. I'm, I'm a, then they I'm don't think the only ones that didn't send the money. After a couple years. They stopped doing it that way because they were getting I'm ripped young. off left, right, and center by people <laughs> like me and PL. <laughs> Illegitimate. Oh, I, I, I oh, thought I man. knew you guys. You see that brown box? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, shame on y'all. I remember. Shame. I remember, uh, I remember having that's that. Real. Um, we Shame ruined it for friend. everybody. Oh. <laughs> we ruined it for everybody. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Shame. Man. Accurate. <laughs> uh, Shame. Method Man, the uh, Takao album. I remember my friend let me dub that tape, and that was another on the way to school. I'd be like, I just be like, mm, click. Uh, hold on. You had to, you had to close the Walkman like this. Yeah. Uh. And close it, and then hit that play. Oh, it was on. And it, you look, know what? No track skipping, so you just had to go straight through. So if you ain't like that song, just you had to fast forward. But you had to like fast forward and guess. You had to be like fast forward, like how long the song was. Yeah, I think, I think this song is done. Play. But like, oh no, nah, fast forward again. <laughs> but that Wu Tang and I remember forever the, the Cuban links. Like Wu Tang Forever was. Oh, I I yeah. played that CD 
Yeah. I had, yeah. I, have a, I had a couple copies of that CD. My brother played that a I lot. I still have my original copy of that. Wow. I, I bought a new copy. Seven. I bought a copy for myself. My brother had it the whole entire time. But I it got, got lost in somebody's CD player in somebody's car. So we only had one disc. I think we had oh, disc shit. two only. But it was I was like, I'm fine with disc two because disc two got the, it got the triumph on it. Like we good. But Yo. when I got my own copy, disc one and disc two are, are good balance of the two. Yo. Yeah. That album was so highly anticipated, man. I remember my mom's, I asked my mom's to pick it up for me because it was <laughs> going on sale, but I was going to be on, on school, obviously. So, you know, it's like, yo, please pick this up for me <laughs> when you play home or something. Like, just please just get it. You know, give, here's my money. You know, Wu-Tang Clan, Wu-Tang Forever. Please. Forever, yeah. <laughs> Got to tell them the title. She, she, came, she might get she something. Came home. <laughs> This is Fu day Tang one. Clan. Like what? Fu Tang. But now, like my my mom was no, she wasn't really one of them moms that was like, I don't know what he's talking about. It's some Wu Tang. Yeah. Like she knew who Wu Tang was. She don't like Wu Tang, but she knew who they were and all that. But yeah. I went there. I mean, I went, I came home, and she was like, Yeah, they didn't have it. They were sold out. This is oh, day one. Yeah. I was crushed, and then she was like, Psych, nah. I got it on my lunch. It was the last one. <laughs> Everybody that was coming was, in there to buy it, but I got the last one because I went on my lunch instead. That was the beauty of that was the beauty of the bootleg man, fam. Oh, don't yeah. ask me how, man. That bootleg man had that album two weeks before that came out, fam. He got as soon as it was done in the studio, he got the pressing. <laughs> fam! Yeah, it was like he was the guy yeah, that was fam, fam. Fam. He got the gold, he got the gold master. <laughs> yeah, like I had that, I had that a week before that came out. And then wow. I went and used my own money to buy the real thing. Yeah. It was worth it. That's when you know it was worth it. If you bought the real thing after the bootleg. Yo, y'all remember it. when Murder Music bootleg came out? Mob Deep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Because it was different than the album. I never it had, had it. Ooh, I remember it, has, ah. it had like a different track list and different songs on it. Like it had some things on it that didn't end up being on the retail album. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. They ended up making a couple more songs, putting a couple more songs, like four or five songs on it because it got bootlegged. Oh. Yeah, man. Them leaks, but man. Remember, them like, serious back first, then. The one that was, like, the worst loss, the one that I remembered, like, the bootleg that me and my, my man had, my bro had it. And so we would listen to it all the time, and it had this one song, the three from the NYC joint which on the actual album ended up just being like a skit because Noid Man. is talking in the beginning of it. It's the part on Murder Music with Noid is talking in the beginning. Yeah. I forget what you're saying. And, but that actually goes into a song with the Al Green flip, the three from the NYC, where it's Prodigy and Noid or Havoc and Noid. And it was an ill joint. And I was like, oh, man, it's not on here anymore. <laughs> three from the NYC. Wow. Do your Googles. <laughs> Get your Googles on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I remember, I remember copping the, I remember copping the uh, Aaliyah joint early and then liking it so much that I went out and got the actual joint. Now, unfortunately, she passed like soon after. But I oh, you're talking about the last Aaliyah joint, not yeah, the first Yeah, the Aaliyah, Aaliyah album. Oh, the, the self-titled. Yeah, the self-titled joint. And gotcha. I remember I like, Wait, <laughs> the bootleg I had had like one or two songs that weren't on the real album. And I was like, yo, what are these? And I and I always, of course, you won't get no track list on the on the, you know what I'm saying? The bootleg man ain't giving you no track list. You getting a picture and a CD with a cover on it. And another picture, like the same picture, just with the hole poked out. So you ain't getting no track list. So I'll never remember what those songs were. And then, of course, I played that CD out. So they joined us. Because I had the six disc changer and the whip. Man, you, sh you got it. Man, you should have ripped them jams, man. <laughs> yeah, I, was man. I wasn't thinking ripping. about it at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I yeah, had the I, six disc changer my... and the whip. Like, I'm not the biggest 50 Cent fan. Like, he's a dope rapper. Don't get me wrong. I, he's a great business have great business acumen mm. but like that get rich or die trying album fam 
That album hit. That was a different. big deal like, when it hit. That that was a thing huge... like that album was like just oh my fam. Like if it's... you didn't have that album that like fam, you were like, what's wrong with you? I didn't have that album. Yeah, no? what's wrong with you? I, I didn't have it. My brother had it, so I sort of indirectly had it, but I'm good. I didn't actually I had that, that album. I got but that I album. Say, I'm not buying no album from no man, no 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 like Structured tank top or like so like I'm good. First of all, it was a new tank top. Okay, sorry, sorry. Don't do that. That album, that album, that album. Wu Tang Forever. Now that's an album that didn't age well. What? Get it wasn't aging. It was like it Ooh. was milk. I saw it as milk. Have you listened to it? I think that album sounds well. Mm. Don't say. It. Don't say. It. Don't say it. Okay, but let me put it like this. Let me put it like that. This. Might be a good one for us to check out. The hits. No, well, the hits that were hits at the time. <laughs> the singles. The singles sound yuck. Oh. The cuts. The album cuts. The B sides. They still bang today, fam. Well, okay. I just remember the rollout the being singles, crazy. The, the, the singles are almost cringeworthy right now. <laughs> that's no, not bro, bro, that's bro. Please, like, if I never turn off, turn off the road. I be cool. Here's the thing: like he I'd sounds cool. fine on the songs, but a lot of the beat work on that record is very much mm-hmm. of its time and space of that in that camp. Like Eminem's beats and Dre's beats, and like it was very much it's like that good old Jake One. You don't like that Jake One production? What Jake One production? Jake One got some beats. He got some beats. No, um, he does. But what did Jake One do on Get Rich or Die Trying? I don't think he's on Get he's Rich or Die Trying. He's on the Massacre. He's not on Get Rich or Die Trying. He's on the Massacre. He's on the Massacre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I want to say Get Rich or Die Trying, the rollout, because he had, he had the controversy to go with him. He had like the street cred to go with him. He had a little bit of the beef to go with him from the stuff with murder. He had he had Dre behind him. He had Interscope behind him. Like it was kind of you know of course behind besides him getting hurt and put in the hospital. You know it was a perfect storm for him. Like everything kind of came up for him just right. And actually he was on the very tail end of like album sales era. He was like on the tail end of that because we were transitioning to like mixtapes and like on like people was like getting on Kazaa and like Morpheus. Him and, and, stuff. and Nelly, him and like, Nelly are the, him, Nelly and M are the last big mega selling album guys. After them, yeah, because th- we were reaching that like transition point where it was getting into. Like, I thought I thought Little Brother was selling millions. What happened? No. Oh, little, bro- wrong little brother might have a million downloads. <laughs> yeah. Um, shout out to Fifty. I'm listening to Fifty's audio book right now. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, I like, I like, it's, a good, it's a good book. How is the book? <clears throat> so far, it's pretty good. <laughs> not not too bad when he tries to get intellectual on you. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, he's an intellectual. I rather is than Ti Booker if he had a book. I'm good. Bruh, I don't want to hear him talking at all. I didn't know T.I. had a book. He has no, books. I'm saying if he did, I wouldn't want to hear Oh, him. Yeah, 50s, um, you know, like if 50s, nothing else, he's an amazing businessman. So him yeah, he's telling he me. Some stuff. He flips some stuff. And, and, he's, and he's a very charismatic guy. So, you know, he's a good storyteller. And he has teller. that troll energy, too. He definitely has that kind of trollish energy. I mean, on <clears throat> online, but that's you know, like that doesn't. That's not where the book is at. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so he, he, <laughs> I guess about the book of his trolls online. Like, well, yeah, I just the, know like, his. I know like his kind of attitude. Like, his kind of energy. Is on his other side, he's got two books. Like one of where it's like the business stuff, and they got like the troll book. Where, then he like, got the book that's all, all about ja Rule and everything. And like, the yeah. book, the audio book stops <laughs> after chapter six. It wasn't. It didn't fully download. Oh, uh, what? Uh, word? Like, like the CD? Like we talking about? No, I'm saying because P.L. Never mind. Never mind. No, I, was, I, was <laughs> I caught it. I, I caught it. 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 Oh man! Right. Name back music. Question. 
question. All right. Is it a serious Is there an question? album that you liked it when you came when it came out, but you love it now? I liked it when it came out, but you love it now. Iron Man. Um hmm. actually like my relationship with Iron Man and Gangstar Hard to Earn and J Wood the Damager, uh Sunrises in the East are all similar in that I liked them okay. I recognized, like I respected the artistry that went into it. I could hear it, but mm -hmm. something about what was there wasn't entirely clicking for me. <clears throat> and then years later, like literally like a light switch. It was like, <gasps> this, I love this. I'm in love with it. <laughs> I must listen to it every single day. <laughs> I, I, for me, and, and Arkansas heard me talk about this album tons of times, but for me, it's De La Soul, De La Soul is Dead. When it first came out, I was just like, oh, there's some good songs. You know, uh, there's some good songs, whatever. But now that I listen to it, I'm like, this, like, I've said it many times, like, this is one of the albums that if somebody asked me, like, to put in a, in a time capsule, I'd be like, this is one of the ones that got to go in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, an amazing, it's, amazing album. That you know what I'm saying? For me, I don't know when when I had a chance to listen to it, you know, re, like 10, 15 years removed or whatever when it came out, I was just like, this is because it's 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 kind of got everything you it has the battle stuff, it has that like fun and reverent stuff, it has the skits, it, it gives you like a good, well-rounded look at like what hip hop is and sort of can be. You know what I'm saying? They they had the they had their like concept songs on there, but they never they never took themselves seriously on the on the album. I think that's I think that's what really kind of sticks with me even now is they never played it like they were they were like the best thing since sliced bread. They were just like, yo, <clears throat> we're having fun. And I mean, of course, that time in their life, they were just having fun making music, doing cool stuff. But I don't know, it just, it connects with me more now than it did back then. Speaking of De La Soul, real quick, uh, Balloon Mind State's like that for me. Like Balloon Mind Ooh. State is an album that when it came out, I got it super excited because I was a big De La fan. And I liked it okay. But now I'm like, this album is genius. This is amazing. Mm. Okay. Um, wait, wait. And it's yeah, one of my favorites, and, and it's one of their most favorite. Uh -huh. What's yours? Did you say your SPR? Because you asked the question. Um, mine is Little Wayne's The Carter Two. Okay. Which one is that? Okay. What single was on that one? Okay. Of course, uh, it Carter is. Two is um, the one with Jim and Robin Thicke. Um, shooters. Uh, that's uh, Fireman. Okay. Oh, that um, but when it came out, man, th that's like that's the thing about that. Wait, is, album. is Gold DJ on that one? No, that's one. That's oh, one. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Carter Two, man. It's when I liked when I first heard that album, it was like, all right, this is cool. But then, like as I got older and listened to it again, like the song structures, like the skits the just the different little features he had like yo like he went out and got robin dick on the song like what like okay and that's kind of when he came out and kind of like changed it well carter one it's kind of like when he changed and he was kind of like going like that's when he became like the new wayne i guess you could say you know like I mean? dude like he there's a song like yo man he there's like a song where he's just rapping for like 256 bars straight. <laughs> I, no, I, 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 like no I, I think I can speak no for. Nothing. I think I can like, speak for for Arca when I say like we really were not in that space. Like I don't have any real. Like I remember Wayne constantly coming out in the Carter two and Carter three and kept getting bigger and bigger, but. Like there's no concrete timestamps there because like I was just so not into that kind of hip hop 
and I was really resistant to it at that time because I, I hated that whole production style of that era and I hated, you know, like mm. a lot of how they were um how they were getting their ideas across and what True. popular music demanded of the artists at that time. That like I was just like totally in the record store where underground music was sold and on like the internet <laughs> where yeah. the underground music was at and i was and not see i vaguely that. i sort of vaguely remember it because even though i wasn't a, a wayne fan my little brother was my little brother loved his his favorite mc is busta and right after that is lil wayne so i vaguely remember those songs because you know he'd be in his room playing them or i'd be around him he'd be playing them and i remember at the time being like man i can't stand lil wayne and then every now and then it'd be a song where I'd be like, I it's kind of rapping on this joint. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like, there'd be a couple of joints, but, but then of course, like I mean, like Anwar said, the production would just, I'd be like, it's not for me. But Go I can't, I can't I, like kind of, I can't take away the fact that <laughs> he, he, he ascended Do me a favor. Day. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't say piano. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Go it. Don't revisit it. it. Go revisit it. I've never I, I, I revisited will. something I've never visited. Go go visit. Go say hello. <laughs> go I say hi. Visit. I will not make a promise that I'll make it through. I honestly, this may sound blasphemous to a Wayne fan. Wayne but has. I, don't do it. Wayne don't has. Don't do it. I Say didn't do it. start feeling like Wayne was really spitting until fairly recently. Like that older Ooh. stuff that he did, it really wasn't something I was impressed by. Like I wasn't impressed by Wayne until like Dedication Six came out. <laughs> and I told, said Dedication Six. It took yeah, six I, dedications. Yeah, yeah, which was five like years ago now, I think. But like I told Arca this story, <laughs> but you know, like my guy castle uh you know we getting stoned one time we on facetime we get stoned and he was playing something in the background and it was wayne i didn't know what it was though at all like i had i was like oh, i never heard that I, he got an album out i know the singles and whatnot i, I feel like i've skimmed the album with it like what is that and wayne was going you know when you stone like you lock in on stuff a different way and he was snapping and i it was notable because i've never oh in my shit y'all feel life, that huh did y'all feel that nah nah oh yeah oh, so you had an earthquake I'm down in philadelphia there. i didn't i didn't feel it nah we be chilling <laughs> in oh, i'll be right back i'll be right back let me go check on the fan real quick yeah yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. and it um, was notable because i've never in my whole entire life felt like yo wayne is snapping but that time, mm. I was like, yo, he's busting. Like, he's rapping, rapping. Yeah. And after that, um, like, you know, the Carter Five came out. And I was like, yo, he's, like, actually. So he raps different now than he did yeah. in that, you know, like, when he's transitioning to, you know, new Wayne. I do remember that period where it's like, oh, Wayne is different now. And you yeah, like, <laughs> you know, really new Wayne. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I remember um, that whole era. But that, like, punchline era, Wayne, I I have one album that I okay. turned 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 around on. Not like turn around. I bought the album first oh, because I liked the artist. Um, it was common. One day all makes hmm. sense. Oh, okay, okay. I, I banged with it when it came out. I was like, it's cool. But like as the years went on, as I went back to it, I'm like, mm, this is getting better. That's one of my um, favorite favorite common albums. When, when, when we revisited it. I yeah, was yeah. like, you know what? This is stronger than I remember it being. And I liked it when it came out. Yeah, yeah and nah, I was it's like, fire. It's fire. I the love second, it. Like, my honorable mention is um, it's Rough Draft, Dilla, actually. I, I slept on that. The first time hearing Ooh. Rough Draft, I was not down with Dilla rapping as much. Like, what? What are you doing? Seriously. Oh, what? Was, that, it, that actually, I just buried the lead, but whatever. That <laughs> album has grown exponentially in my brain. <laughs> Yo, I love that. I love Rough Draft off tops. I, I heard Rough I Draft. I was ready. I definitely, my love has grown, but it's more because of access. You know, like I didn't own it when it came out, but I had, I'd heard it. 
Yeah. Well, I I now, say hi. See, baby. Uh, Arco was saying his ones that he that the like turned into love, and he said, uh, "Common one day it'll all make sense." And Dilla rough draft. They yeah, got they that much better as time went on. See, and still and getting I, better. Like I'm still gonna lean with uh, with High Signs joint on the um, on the uh, balloon mind state. I remember. I remember hearing Ego Trip and I was just, because that's when they started getting into the kind of like, I don't know if this would be the right term, like sort of like their preachy vibe. And I don't know if, I don't know if that's the term that I want to use, but they were kind of like making that transition. And I remember getting the album and being like, yeah, it's got some songs, but you know what I'm saying? Like Patty Duke and, um, you know, like I was just like, eh, it's got songs. But now that I listen to it, uh-huh. you know, I enjoy it more. Um, but Stakes is High, that joint hit me off top. I was just like... <laughs> you know, funny story with Stakes is High. Stakes is High came out the same day as it was written. I'm like super, you know, I'm a super Nas fan at this point. And this is like the greatest thing ever since sliced bread about to touch the earth like a comet. And I went around the corner, I bought both tapes at the same time. And I didn't listen to Stakes as High for like three weeks because I was just so in a Nas zone. And I was like, yo, ah. I'm, I'm really, I'm excited about De La. I love De La still. But I was just like, Nas is back. And I was so <laughs> in that zone. I kind of had to like force myself to listen to Stakes as High, even though like I knew I was going to love it. Man, once I, I listened to it, you know, once I listened to it, it went into rotation and I did, as predicted, oh. love it. And, and Architron knows Stakes is High is probably one of my top three, maybe favorite Dilla beats. When I heard Stakes is High, I was just like, who made this? <laughs> I was like, I was like, Stakes is High is an amazing piece of production. And, and then, like, yeah. man, I remember getting that joint and just being like, yo, Daylight's back. And then in the video, of course, because we talk about when you see videos and you're like, yo, I got to get this. That line when they say the native tongues have officially been reinstated, I was like, "That's it, that's it, I'm, I'm sold." Name you know, name. You had- all the money, all the money, take it off. You Thank get the money, you get and money. And they had Q-tip Everybody. in there. They had Q-tip, Q-tip in was in the video like, on that line. I was like, "Bruh," I was like, "That's it," because that was like that was my vibe, like that, like uh, native Ooh. tongue or like salt and pepper, kid and play, like that was kind of like my vibe, like you know, like. We can we can definitely have lyrical skill, but let's have a good time. Let's chill. We ain't got to kill everybody on the block to to have a good, to have a good time. You ain't had a you ain't really had a good time then. Oh, ah. like you haven't had a good time until your soul rocks. Don't you <laughs> nobody. You ain't having fun. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with the Alfred. Be like, you have soul some rocks. Y'all ain't feeling earthquake, fam. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we didn't feel no, nothing. That's the, that's Wu Tang. Know. That's Wu Tang returning like a. That comic. was the LBC earthquake, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I got it was the IW. The four point oh in Barstow. And where? Barstow. Wow. Barstow. Barstow. Where? Barstow. Barstow. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. New Cali people. Y'all talk about some Barstow all you want. No, Barstow's on <laughs> the way to Vegas. You know where Barstow is? It's on the way to the Vegas Eastish from here. Sort That's far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Came out of his sleep. I'm on a bar stool. <laughs> bar stool. <laughs> bar stool. <laughs> I'm going oh, on man. bars. What are you talking about? You're COVID out. I don't bro. care about no bar stool. <laughs> COVID out, bro. I ain't going to no bar. <laughs> but we will. <laughs> we will take a bar stool check. Yo, do, hey, look. Barstool Wait, check, while y'all playing. Speak it into existence. Uh, Barstool, uh, is it Barstool Sports or Barstool Networks or something like that? But basically, Barstool they Sports. Do, they're, um, sports. They're a, a yeah, I'll take, a, I'll take a Barstool check. Let's do it. They're a network of podcasts, and they, they've, they've got dough. They've got, they've got dough. Um, we need the Barstool check. Basically, you become part of the network. They give you money to produce your podcast and all operating costs and hire people. So okay. People make mad money. You should show them this and, video with my face doing that. Like, okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, there you go. Right. 
Maybach music. <laughs> and they actually just gotten a little bit of controversy behind, well, not really them, call her daddy, the chicks on that podcast. Yeah, that's like, them. Back and forth. No, them. no, no, no. It and, started because they went to uh, they went to Barstool and asked for some unseen, obscene race. Yeah. And Barstool was like, chill, fam. Bro, and then one of the girls was like, nah, just give me half of what we asked you for. Screw the other girl. Just give me, just give yeah. me half of what we asked for, Bruh. and we'll be cool. We'll find somebody else to fill her role. And Bars still like, all right. <laughs> yeah, because it was, it was basically. You could tell during the deal. You could tell during the deal. Like they had a good contract. Like it was pretty good. They had a great contract. It the was girl chilling. who wanted to. The girl who wanted to re-up to this crazy raise, her boyfriend or her husband is some Hollywood exec, and he thought that they were getting beat. Bruh. So he was like, nah, baby, you need to redo your views. deal. And Barstool was like, yo, fam, I just gave you heaven and earth. You want the moon, too? And she's like, yeah. And the yeah. sun. He's like, yo, yes. Both yes, members, I want the moon. Why both members even a individually throwing were Mars making while around you at a half a pump. million dollars a year. Yeah, man. Shout so out to how, Barstool, how much? Uh, how much both members said? individually were making a, around a half a million a year. I mean, a half a uh, half a billion a year. For, I mean, half a million, four hundred thousand dollars, four hundred thousand, uh, give or take, between show episodes yeah. and merch and all of this. Bruh, each of can... them took home. It's two girls. Each of them took home at least half a mil. Bruh. Yeah. and they if, wanted if more. You can't be, here's the thing: if you can't be happy with that. I can't please you. I'm sorry. I can't please you. Yo. Yo, what if they're used to the million dollar taxes, man? You giving them half a million. They weren't making anything. They make was the their home taxes. Just, they were bad. Million dollar taxes? No, Yo. man. Every night. Every day. <laughs> now one of them is down home doing nothing. Nothing. Hey, they got principal. They got a Hollywood exec boyfriend, uh, husband. Got <laughs> friends. Straight. Yeah, boyfriend. And yet, man, he better man. go. He better go find her a gig fast. Yeah, and I, or and he'll I, be, you, you better, be you better, be, you better believe he is, though. You better believe he will. On the on the real though, I'll end the show off on this for some some knowledge for y'all out there. Don't don't let nobody get in your finance business like that. If they just the boyfriend, like I'm just saying, he's just a boyfriend and he just messed you up out of half a million dollars a year, all right? And he's just the boyfriend. At least marry him first. Come on now. You can't let the boyfriend. You can't let the boyfriend be saved. Saved. Yeah, half, man. Don't marry him. You can't, you can't mess. You can't let the boyfriend. He ain't got no you. money. What'd he do? He <laughs> Come on, fam. You he can't let the man trick you out your bag, man. Yo, I, I'm trying to figure I, it out. I feel you, but <laughs> you never know how the power rolls, man. You know, he might he might yeah. get her something. He might get we her something see. crazy. She ain't got none yet. And the other girl got something. <laughs> Yeah, the girls, the, and, but that's all. That's always the case, man. You know, like we all have an implicit bias towards success. So when you look at something like that, and you're like, "Oh, well, she has, she wouldn't have asked for that money if that other girl wasn't on board. That other girl just wasn't outspoken in the same way. But she is slimier. She does know. <laughs> she is. She is more willing to do the slimy thing in business." If she yeah, did I mean, go right behind her bag and be like, oh, just give it to me instead. Well, cause yeah. at, least, so, okay, to cool. me, at least to me, how, how it came off after listening to the story, it seemed like one chick was cool with the contract that they had. The other chick wanted more. And she yeah, was, the chick they with kinda, the boyfriend was and like, And they nah, shut nah, down the show. Beat. So they shut down the show. So now chick A with the boyfriend is messing up chick B's money. So chick B is like, look, I'm fine with okay. what we got if we can keep okay. this rolling. Chick B was like, yo, just give me what whatever she said she wanted, give me half of that and I'll roll. We can find a, repl a suitable replacement and keep the bar and keep the car moving. Okay, okay. And so man, you know, we'll, I mean we'll usually see I I'd love to be on the I'd love to be on the artist side, but in this case, Chick B was right. Like, yo, we gotta we on a gravy train I'm, with I'm biscuit never, wheels. I'm never going to be on the corporation side. And this is never happening. Every, every now and then, there's there's times when we look at contracts and we're like, it's not you know being what? This on the corporation really side. side. It's working towards your... I mean, no, I can't. I don't even want to say that because that sounds bad. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's not being on the corporation side. I won't say that. 
But fam, if you know that somebody, if, okay, if we are all in a group and one person in the group is acting unreasonable, what do we do then? Kick him out. Yeah. You got to kick him out eventually. Yeah. Because it was kind of like uh, similar to if we uh, can't fix Meg's, it. like uh, similar to Meg the Stallion situation. At first, I wanted to be like, yo, man, yo, they tripping on Meg. And I heard about the contract. I saw the contract. And I was like, it's actually not that bad. Why don't you, you saw just make Meg's an album contract? Length? Why don't you just make both an album? situations? Both since Meg and uh, these two uh, females. Who? Like once you hear the numbers, it's like, huh? Meg, not so. When uh, I'll let's go back. Who to you the talking two, about? Uh, who, the, the who the girls? The two, who, city girls. The two women from the from the podcast. Once okay. you heard their numbers, what they were making, and like yeah. they're complaining. Like yeah. fam, like nah, they lost right. all the fam. But Meg, did Meg? Meg, Meg I, I, was... I won't knock Meg because yeah. Meg got bigger than her contract situation. You know what I'm saying? She got bigger than her contract. True, but when I she saw got it, bigger I was than like, her deal. I was like, yo, why didn't you just like? Because in my mind, similar to um, and other artists have done this when they're like they're kind of fed up and they're like, yo, I know I'm in a five album contract. Let me just knock out these albums real quick. I'm like, well, if they say that an album is 45 minutes, why did you drop a joint that's 39 minutes? Bro, just put another skit and a, and, a, and a song on there. Just get out of the car. Like, what are you doing? Like, what is take? Like, I would I did, look, uh, I did a collab I mean, so fast, defenses, and I would have been one more a, song, and I would have been out of it. To, it to, to her, in her defense on that point, it's, it's not always that simple. Yeah. You know, like, and oftentimes what the label says is not real all right, if, all right. like they they can they can tell you all you want but i mean they yeah. can well, just, as, e just, just as easily as they say like oh yeah just do this and you'll be out of the deal they can tell you like oh yeah okay i understand <laughs> if you did all of that but yeah we found there's these unforeseen costs and we found you still owe us this we can't let yeah. you go yeah i'll feel you on that I mean, even though the contract said that they could have said some extra stuff behind the scenes but like Fam, you know, the position, on. the position, the smartest position for any artist, pretty much, when dealing with a company, is, and this is not saying that you can't have great business, and that you know, like your contract is going to be horrible. Like it's, you could have a great situation and have a wonderful business relationship with this company, but the smartest position you can probably have is that they're lying to you. Yeah, they yeah. are liars. I, I'll give you that. Give they you are that. liars that they use lawyers. Steal. Liars with lawyers. They are liars <laughs> with lawyers. They will lie, steal, connive, use, abuse, screw you, hollow, and toss you away. They are all there to do that. There true is that, no that. such thing as humanity and business. So. Yeah, you can walk in there. You can walk in there feeling like, yeah, we're too good. Yeah. We're gonna come. You will get screwed hollow and put back on the track as an empty husk. Mm. That as is their only husk. function. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An empty shell of a person. That there is. You've been. There's hustling. no other. There's no other <laughs> outcome. They are, they, are, they are not there to to do anything but destroy hustling. you and move on to the next planet. Yeah. Right, word, word. So, guys, you learned your lesson. You know what I'm saying? We got six, We got two new members. Part you know of the crew. Saying? That's right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Tell them your names out Yo, there. It's for the children. The crew and you click. The genius. Life is for the children. <laughs> <laughs> Word out. <laughs> got Nerd Soul Light in the house. We got PL Light. <laughs> <laughs> a little PL. A little PL. A little PL. Little PL. Okay. PL. <laughs> PL. PL. Okay. Uh, so before we before we get out of here, uh, Mr. High Sign, tell them where they can find you. You can find me at A N W A R underscore High Sign. One word. H I G H S I G N on twitter 
and Anwar Hi Sign, one word, no underscore on IG. And if neither of those work, then switch it around because I messed it up. Anwar Hi Sign, <laughs> everything, baby, and go on, and especially go on your Spotify and your Apple. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. yeah. Use the streaming platforms and listen to that uh, Fleece EP and download that and stream it and run it. Yeah, up. tell them go listen to Fleece now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the it's diagonal take spot. Your time. It's only three songs, baby. Give me these ten minutes and I'll make your life better. Here, I think. PL, say what's up. What up, world? It's Parker P. L. Lewis. Um Parker P. L. Lewis with the Z um dot com and available on all social media. If you got a second, go check me out or something. Get in. What up, what up? And in the last square, Architron. Say what's up. Trying to live my best life. But um, <laughs> you can find me at A-R-C-K-T-R-O-N.com. You can find uh, Space Bridge tapes. You can also find Subtle Business tapes. <laughs> ah. um, you can pop them at, the, at that website, Arctron.com. And uh, you know I mean? Just trying to say everybody be safe. And man. Man. Your head. Man. Man, yeah. so, of course, safe in these trying times. Where can they find you, Soul? And Civil ID, S O U L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all them places, Spotify for music, podcasts, all that jazz. Uh, thank you to everybody who checked out the rent party over the weekend. We got stuff dropping during this week. We're going to keep it dope and keep it fly for you. <laughs> you feel week. how you want to feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and until next week for us you we're just saying peace Ghosts and a wolf for you the main back music